Hi, welcome to my new Behind the Poem video. This week, uh, due to the votes on my poll, the poem is I'm Coming Back as a Cat. Uh, I think it's from page 67 in the poetry book. Uh, first, I have to say and admit, I'm not, I'm not very good at, at comedy poetry or, or poetry that makes people burst out laughing, you know, stand-up kind of things, uh, whimsical, light-hearted things. Some of the, some of the uh, poems that I write are about relaxation or joyful moments, but they're usually kind of a calm joy or a, 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 a chilled kind of thing because in moments of quiet is when I find my inspiration. However, every now and again, something will strike me as funny or strike me as interesting and um, taking on the persona of a cat is just something that like occurred to me one evening I was trying to think of something to write I wanted to be more lighthearted I wanted to give it a try and I have been a lifelong cat owner since I was very little I had cats uh, in at home when I was living back in the States I've had cats since I owned my own home here in the UK uh, one of whom was named Binky named after the white horse that death rides in Terry Pratchett's um, Discworld series. And Binky and Luna and Wash were the first cats that I owned here in the UK, and they made me extremely jealous of their lives. They always seemed to be uh, busy whenever they wanted to, or sleeping in the sun, and I'm most jealous because I suffer from back pain and the inability to get comfortable sometimes. That flexible spine that cats have, if you've ever seen a cat sleeping in the sun, you know exactly what I'm talking about, or how they get into the weirdest positions on a couch or in between uh, pillows or cushions or on your lap, doesn't matter how you move, they seem to still be comfortable in their flexible spine uh, position. Something that looks like it totally shouldn't look comfortable does. Um, I, I also love their their dignity and their snobbery in, in how they deal with humans and animals, other dogs, you know, the, that superior look as they're up on the table and they're looking down at the dog that's yapping its head off at the, the like, yeah, you're pathetic. I'll sit here and stare at you in my superiority. There's something about the personality of a cat, the, the, the control of affection, how they come to you when they want to be fussed. It doesn't matter what you're doing. Uh, it's one of the things I talk about in the poem. One of my, my cats used to decide when I was finished work for the day. They would literally lay across the test papers I was marking or sit on the computer while I was trying to type just to get affection. And you can't help it. You, the, the look on the face and the, and the inviting calmness of petting the cat can't resist it. So all of this, you know, connection and amusement that cats provide uh, led me to decide that this is one of the poems that I wanted to write. I wanted to get into that headspace of a cat and think about the cat's day and as writers, we should do this. We should have fun with what we're doing. We should allow ourselves to imagine being someone else or being somewhere else, even when we haven't been there before. Or if we have been there before, use our imaginations and a persona or an idea to take us back there. If we love the idea of being on the beach or we remember a fantastic beach holiday, be one of the one of the animals in the seashells. Be one of the the dogs running along the sand, or or a bird in the trees looking down at all these tourists that are leaving behind their 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 chips. You know these these kinds of things. We should explore our world and explore our own humanity by being something else, by being someone else. Many many writers have done it many famous writers have put themselves into the personality of animals or use animals to explore the human condition, um, giving it a different perspective. And having that other perspective usually helps. Now, I, I love this poem. It makes me laugh. It, make, it reminds me of all of my drama teaching and, you know, where you play in role or you do role playing to examine facets of your own personality. Um, and 
I have to admit, I, I definitely have some cat-like qualities. I love curling up in a sunny spot in the garden, especially now. There's all this gorgeous sunshine out there at the end of May, and everybody is, is enjoying it, possibly more than they should. For me, I have to be careful in the sun because I get sunburned. However, if I was a cat, I could move from puddle of sun to puddle of sun, and I could sleep away half the day and only get up when I want to. I could go and get affection from someone I care about and, and then go off satisfied by that affection and, and, and toy with something else, toy with a bright sunny red spot that I get to chase up the curtains, that kind of thing. So as you read um, I'm Coming Back as a Cat, remember to have fun with it. Remember to be in the cat's mind. Remember to be the cat. And then go out and explore your own cat-like qualities or dog-like qualities or, you know, your be something other than what you are in your writing. And when you discover that, be more yourself. Thank you again for supporting the page. Please feel free to share with anyone you think you might enjoy it. And I'll see you next week. Look out for the poll on Monday. You guys get to decide what stories I tell. Thanks.